Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.3. Now, of course, this is the latest update from Apple, which is currently on its first beta. Now, it's a really interesting update with a few new features and changes. Nothing major. Hopefully with the next betas, we'll getting also new features that will make this update really better. So in today's video, we're going to talk about some more details about this update and some things that I believe you must know if you're thinking about updating your device to the new iOS 26.3 beta one. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It will really help the channel a lot. Now, as I said, this update doesn't bring a lot of new features, but it brings some really important ones, like the ability to quickly transfer to Android. So you go to the general settings, and when you scroll all the way down here, and you go to transfer and reset iPhone, you will now have a new option here to quickly transfer to Android. So you can go from here, it will show you all the details you need to know. So you bring like devices next to each other, and you will be able to actually transfer just like you do from the old iPhone to the new one. Also, it will bring notification forwarding and it also separates the categories of wallpapers for astronomy and weather. It used to be together. Now they two different sections and hopefully they will bring like new wallpapers to those sections. But what's really important about this update is the release. And this is why I'm making this video. Let you guys know that it is probably not a really good idea to update your device to iOS 26.3 right now. Now, as I said, it's currently on its first beta and it does have a few bugs. Now, one that I have noticed that I've seen a lot of users report as well is right here on the photos library. So when I go to the library, this is where I'm at right now. I can go ahead and try to zoom out. So, you know, right here, if you're not on iOS 26.3, you're on an older version, you can try this, you will zoom out and it goes back to like months and years and you can quickly go to any of those on your library. You won't be able to do that with iOS 26.3 beta one. And I'm really, really hoping that this is just a bug and not a change that Apple will actually implement to the photos app. There are also other bugs. One and another one that I have actually noticed is on the settings app. So when you go to settings and you go to face ID and password, you cannot change require password immediately after you have disabled face ID. That's another bug that I have experienced on my device and I have seen other users actually experiencing as well. Now, this is the reason I believe you should not update your device to the new iOS 26.3 beta one. First of all, you will have bugs. Second of all, it doesn't actually have a lot of new features and changes that will make it really interesting. But the third and most important one is the release of the next beta. And here's what I'm talking about. We're currently on the 23rd of September today. And as you can see right here, we're going into the holiday season and we won't be getting another update for a really long time. So if you just go ahead and install it right now, you will be stuck with the first beta of iOS 26.3 for a few weeks. And if you have any like bugs that are always on these betas and are always different on different devices, if you see one device experiencing one bug, you probably won't see it on another, but it will have different bugs. So you don't want to be stuck with a device that is buggy, especially if you have just one device and you're using this software on your daily driver, that will be really annoying. So what I'm saying here is that probably until the week of January the 12th, we won't be getting another beta of iOS 26.3. So it's almost like three weeks away from today until the release of the second beta, which should hopefully fix the bugs that we're experiencing right now on iOS 26.3. And that's actually really important, but we're going to talk about exact dates in a minute here. Let's first talk about some other details regarding this, this update, which are of course also very important. Let's head on to the battery section here. 
Now, as you will see right here, the battery is actually not bad. It is not, not something to worry about. The battery is okay. Of course, it's a bit better with iOS 26.2, and that, of course, is a final release now, and it should be better. But even with this update, is not that bad. You can see these like hours right here, 135%, 8 hours, 30 minutes on screen, 136%, 6 hours, 16 minutes, right here, almost 8 hours with 120% battery usage, and right here, 9 hours with 157% battery usage. So the battery is okay. It might be a bit worse on some devices, and some will be better, but again, it's okay. Don't expect it to be the same as I was 26.2, which is actually really good. I had a really good battery life with that update, but again, it's not something that you cannot work with. But again, the problem here are the bugs that you might experience on your device. And on certain devices, it might have specific bugs that will actually make your experience using your iPhone really, really bad. Now, as far as the performance goes, the numbers right here, actually show quite good results so almost 3000 right there on the single core score 2999 which is amazing and of course the great multi-core score here at 7626 these are great scores and very comparable to ios 26.2 and even using it in it on daily basis it will be quite smooth i had some problems with the keyboard sometimes like freezing and not showing up properly especially right here on the app library but otherwise is quite smooth but again as i said the main problem here will be specific bugs that you will have on different devices so you don't want to be stuck with an update for a few weeks especially on your daily driver so now let's talk about releases here and as i said earlier most likely the week of january the 12th should be the day that apple releases the second beta for ios 26.3 it might even happen earlier like the may be the 6th or 7th of January, but I highly doubt that. Most likely, this will be the day for the second beta of iOS 26.3. Now, taking a look at this update and seeing that it doesn't bring a lot of changes, I don't expect it to have a ton of betas. Most likely, we're going through like three beta stages before the RC gets released. Most likely, we'll have the, th the third beta on the week of the 19th and then the RC somewhere here on the 26th or maybe the 27th of January. Those should be the dates that we get the RC, which is, of course, the final release to the devs and public testers before this goes out to the public, which, in my opinion, should be somewhere around here, the week of February the 2nd, most likely the 2nd or the 3rd will be the dates that Apple releases iOS 26.3 to the public. Now, in the meantime, we will most likely get a smaller update. Now, we haven't seen Apple actually release a point update in quite some time. So, right here, until then, you can see we have almost a month and a half until the release of iOS 26.3 to the public. So, I would expect Apple in this time to actually release iOS 26.2.1. Even though we didn't see this update yet, because usually we will see tracks of these updates on the web, they will get reported once they are being tested internally by Apple, but most likely it will happen because until that time, there should be releases to fix bugs and to give devices security improvements and all that stuff. So, that's basically it. Again, probably a month and a half until the release of iOS 26.3 to the public and at least like 20 to maybe 18 to 20 days until the second beta that's why i suggest you stay out of this beta for now because it's not actually worth it updating from ios 26.2 to ios 26.3 and maybe get stuck with a few bugs on your daily driver so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one